Well, this is it. It's Giants and Cowboys last game of the season, the NFC East title on the line. I don't know if it can get any bigger than that. The loser could slip all the way to third place behind the dream team Philadelphia Eagles. The loser certainly is out of the playoffs. I think that if you had said at the beginning of the season that this is how it would work out in week 17, both teams would have signed up for that. So here we go. Huge game for the Giants who looked absolutely back in form against the Jets last weekend. I'm not completely convinced. I still think they've got a lot of holes. And I look back to the Giants game three weeks ago, a 37-34 win over the Dallas. Cowboys and it makes me worry a little bit they certainly can't let that game come down to a blocked field goal at the end they could be better than the Cowboys and I've got three keys for you on how they can win this game win the NFC East and go on to the playoffs the first one it's all about the coverage we saw great coverage by the secondary against the Jets not a lot of room for Plaxico Burris or Santonio Holmes to move a lot of pressure on Mark Sanchez but look back three weeks ago to the Dallas Cowboy games. You saw Laurent Robinson, Miles Austin, Jason Witten running all over the field. Lots of communication in the secondary that, no matter what Antrell Roll said, got barbecued in that game. I think that they need to tighten that up and get that miscommunication stuff really buttoned down in this game. They've got to make sure they know what defense they're playing. Maybe a little more man-to-man -man might help, but they've got to tighten that up. Otherwise, those Cowboys receivers are going to have an absolute field day. It'll come down to who's the most physical, um, who makes the fewer errors. And we're always talking about turnovers. They've done a good job now. They've done a very good job. They haven't turned the ball over in, uh, in quite some time. I think Romo in the last 11 games with 22 touchdowns and only four interceptions. So you've got a guy that's taking good care of the ball. Um, but we're, as they are, always out to create turnovers and, and give ourselves better field position. Tied into that, the second key of the game, rush the passer relentlessly. We all know that Tony Romo, when pressured, can make mistakes. He hasn't made many. In seven of his last eight games, he doesn't have a single interception, but the Giants can change that, especially with his banged up, swollen hand and the possible return of OCU Minora. That certainly makes the pass rush more dangerous. It can make the Giants' defense more dangerous as well. OC's been in a while, so you know he knows yeah. the, uh, you know, the different tricks of the trade you know, as far as pass rushing and, and, and the ways to play. Uh, and JP's still learning. Obviously, he's been uh, great doing the things he's been doing. It's good, you know. Now I get a chance to rest. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's a good thing seeing him out there going. You know? Hopefully, he's going to go this week. So, But the big key, you can all say it with me because I've been saying it all year, make sure Eli Manning is on his game. Now, this is a little bit of a worry. He was absolutely on his game against the Cowboys, but he wasn't against the Redskins. He wasn't against the Jets. And he goes into this game with a banged up Hakeem Nicks and a banged up Mario Manningham. This passing game seems has to find a way to get on track. It seems to be a little off right now, but that's huge because this season has been all about Eli Manning. It's been in his hands, and it absolutely will be again. You know, we just got to try to see uh, you know how we can be uh, consistent. And uh, they're, they're talented. They're a talented defense. They do a good job getting pressure on the quarterback. So uh, we got to block up their key guys. And, uh, you know, receivers doing a good job getting open and see if we can uh, run the ball uh, successfully like we did, we did last time. We'll find out Sunday whether he's really the MVP that he's been playing like, whether this defense is actually back, whether the Giants deserve to be in the playoffs. Make sure you keep it tuned right here to the blue screen and follow at the blue screen on Twitter for all the big news coming out of this game. And Happy New Year, everybody.